Good evening, good evening, guys. Hi, lady. Good evening, Abigail. Great to see you. Good evening, good evening uh, teacher. Andrea, Mauricio. Hi, guys. How Hi. You doing? Damaris, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. How are you? How are you doing today? Is everything Hi. all right? Are you doing fine? How um, is your Friday going? I am doing viernes, guys. Very good, teacher. Very good. So, so. Mm. All right. So I hope you had a nice Friday, that you're having a really good day, and that you're having a blast. So thank you so much, guys, uh, for joining today's session. As always, it's really nice to have you. And let's see here. We're going to like get a started. Um, Session number 14, right? Ya casi, guys, terminamos el módulo. Vamos de bajadita. Nos faltan solamente seis sesiones um, to finish up the module, right? So, but it's really nice always to have you around. Um, give me one second, guys. Um, okay, Abigail, thank you. All right, guys, eh, pudieron revisar un poquito los verbos, los estuvieron practicando, you practice a little bit. Mr. Sanchez, good evening. Kenya, good evening. Great to see you. Uh, were you able to memorize a couple of verbs or not many or a little? Like, how did it go, guys? ¿Cómo les fue con eso? Uh, Julio, good evening. Great to see you as well. Did you practice some verbs, guys? Not really. A little. Guys, eh, ¿cuántos se han aprendido so far? ¿Cómo cuántos manejan? Like, effectively, present, past, and past participle. One, two, <laughs> three. Ninguno, no. <laughs> How many do you handle, guys? Como, ¿Cuántos se pueden más o menos? Maybe. Like a conciencia, like you really, really remember them. Maybe six. Okay, around six. Okay, sounds all right. Guys, los demás, como ¿cuántos se aprendieron so far? ¿Cuántos se pueden? Four teachers. Ford, okay. Okay. The rest of you guys? Four, two? Five. Five, okay, okay. Well, lo bueno es que ya viene el fin de semana, so it is coming, right? Tenemos un poquito de... de well, hopefully we can make the time, exacto, para poder memorizarnos un par, right? So we can learn a couple of them. Um, let me see. So in the meantime, guys, mientras tanto, vamos a intentar avanzar. We're going to try to uh, move ahead with... Okay, with a couple of things that we have. Uh, so, estas incluyen, so these include un par de verbos, we have some verbs, de, de, que de hecho vamos a hacer un breve repaso ahorita, and vamos a seguir con la parte de troubleshooting. Ahora, el día de ayer, si se recuerdan, estábamos revisando eh, idiomatic expressions, esa expresión de I'm sick as a dog, eh, I'm under the, under the weather, um, I'm in tip top shape, right? Uh, take it easy, etc. So ahora nos corresponde trabajar con phrasal verbs. Creo que más o menos las mencioné ayer, pero no las hemos trabajado. We have not even gotten familiar with those. So uh, that is the main topic for today, que es uno de los más, um, I have to say, useful. Eh, son expresiones o son verbos que um, there is no other way, al igual que los verbos en pasado, pasado participio. La única forma, guys, es memorizarlos y una vez los memoricemos, pues eh, se vuelve más fácil y tenemos más vocabulario, right? 
Uh, to get started, guys, it present un par de verbos. Let me present a couple of verbs de los que hemos estado revisando. Y ustedes me ayudan with the past. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. For some reason, my presentation is stuck. So, and you help us guys with the past and past participle. There you go. So, um, here we have verb review. Uh, we have some irregular verbs, maybe the most common. El día de ayer les pedía que practicaran al menos los primeros 10, at least number 10. Acá les he agregado otros que probably no estaban en los primeros 10, but son de los más comunes. Algunos de ellos no cambian. Some of them son exactamente lo mismo en pasado, pasado, participio. So let's give it up. Let's give it a try. Um, I'll give you one minute, guys, en caso los quiera que escribir, in case you want to write them down. But primero, please, no los busquen en su cuaderno, no, no busquen cuál era el pasado participio. Intentemos hacer memoria, try to remember, y si no recuerdan, intentemos eh, de las preguntas que hemos practicado before, intenta recordarse, right? So try to remember. Um, ¿Cuál es el pasado? En what is the past participle? So guys, tenemos un minuto para hacer tantos como podamos. Recordemos que algunos son el, exactamente el mismo. Um, si les sirve anotarlos, guys, use your notebook, use a piece of paper y escribamos el past y el past participle. Okay, guys, are you ready? Do you have some birds? The fear is break. Yes, so we have break. break. The best. Is broke. Okay, so break, broke, and? Broken. 
Broken, very good. There we go. So break, broke, broken. Come, guys, can't tell come. Who has come? Come. Mm -hmm. Came. Mm -hmm. Come. Very nice. Come, came, come. Exactly. Very good. Uh, no. What about no? Who has no? New. New and? No. Perfect. There we go. Excellent. See. See. So. So. And? Seen. Seen. Very good. Like, have you ever seen the rain? Uh -huh. <laughs> so we have come. Come. Oh, ya está arriba, sorry, lo dupliqué. Okay. okay, next one, speak. What about it, speak? Speak. Spoke. Spoke. Spoke and spoken. spoken, excellent. Fight. Fought. Fought. Fought, ajá, fought. Y el otro bien parecido. Fought, igual. Fought, exactly, fight, fought, and fought. Make. Make. Mm -hmm. Made. 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 Very good. Make, made, and made. Uh huh. Next one. Find. Found. 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 Exactly. Lo mismo. Next one is give. Give. Gave. 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 Given. And given. given. Exactly. Good. 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 Uh, get. What about get? Got. 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 Got him. Got it, exactly. It's got it or, or got it? Actually, uh, get, got, got it, get, got, gotten, it really depends, right? So, uh, depende del acento, puede cambiar un poquito la pronunciación, but we can say got it, we can say gotten, um, and I have heard other variations depending on the English, right? <laughs> or on the region, yeah. dependiendo de la región, a veces cambia la pronunciación. But basically it's gotten, gotten, right? Or gotten, so it, it goes there. Next one, guys, we have a say. So say. Said. Es said. bien fácil, exactly, como nuestra said. So say, said, said. Take, took, uh -huh. and taken. Taken, very good. Take to taken. Uh, eat, ate, 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 Draw, driven. Driven, driven, very good. And drink. Drunk, drunk. 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 Drunk and drunk, exactly. Okay, very nice. There we go. So I think we definitely got all of those. Now, estos solamente son verbos, common verbs. Pero lo que vamos a revisar ahora se llaman eh, phrasal verbs, or son expresiones verbales. ¿Cuál es la diferencia, guys? Well, la, hi Blanca, good evening. La diferencia es que una phrasal verb puede que el significado de la palabra vaya a cambiar un poquito. Okay. Georgina, good evening. Great to see you too. Good evening, good evening. Noé. Thank you for joining. Hi Michelle, great to see you as well. So, let's take a look really quick. Phrasal verbs son como las que tenemos acá. Are very similar like the ones we have here. ¿Qué es una phrasal verb? Huele well, la combinación de dos palabras. So here tenemos print out, scroll down, shut down, go online, click on, hack into, backup, plug in, sign up, and log out. So eh, esos verbos, si usted solamente lo ve como scroll, tiene un significado, pero con, con scroll up o scroll down, yo ya le estoy cambiando el significado al verbo, right? So back, oh, pero back es en la espalda. Pero acá, back es un verbo y que va unido con la palabra a. So, guys, uh, do me a big favor here. Les acabo de dar la opción para que ustedes puedan escribir en mi, en mi, you know, en mi puzzle y me ayuden a encontrar las palabras. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Easy. Si están en la computadora, va a aparecerles un menú que dice um, annotate, si lo tienen en inglés. Les aparece como annotate. 
le dan clic y les va a aparecer, a uh, let me see, ah, ya vi que a Abigail lo encontró. So, les pueden escribir dibujar y en el dibujar aparecen líneas, aparecen rectángulos para que me ayuden a encontrar la palabra, right? Si están en el teléfono, if you are in your phone, in your phone aparece un lapicito en la parte de abajo. Ese lápiz puede tener diferente color y es el que me van a ayudar, right? Eh, para seleccionar la palabra. Thank you. So, I think that eh, Abigail ya encontró printout. Thank you. I'm going to cross it here. So print out, print, print, print. Where is print out? Okay, print out is gone. Click. Uh, oh, no sé, creo que, que uh, okay, click on, all right. So click on, we got it, very good. Plug, plug in, okay, very good, Georgina. So we got plug in. Okay. Three, four, no, yeah, we got three. Nos faltan varios, guys. Ayúdennos, please. So help us as well. Remember, si están en el teléfono. Okay, Georgina already got backup. So I'm gonna just uh, cross that, that one out. In your phone, guys, es el lapicito que está abajo o en la computadora. Es la opción de annotate o si está en español aparece como anotar, right? Luego les aparece un menú y pueden seleccionar la opción 4, eh, section number 4, donde les aparecen las líneas. So, en... Ok, go online, all right. Oh, Georgina, you're good at this. Okay, what's the other one? I log out. Okay, so log out. Nice. Help us, guys. Ayúdenme. Si ya la encontraron, but me encuentran las opciones in your computer or in your phone. Díganos a dónde está y acá la marcamos. No problem. Okay, sign up. Very good, guys. Ah, okay, nice. We are missing a scroll down, shut down. Oh, okay, so hack into, I think you got it. Backup, okay, yeah, we got it, that one already. What's the other one? Scroll down, okay, okay, scroll down. I think we're missing up to then, right? But yes, very nice. So we definitely got it. And we are just missing shutdown. Guys, ayúdenme, no la veo yet. Um, no, right? No, no, we don't have it yet. Si alguien ya la vio, guys, let us know. Shut down. Okay, very nice. I think we got it. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Very nice job. Yes, we got all of them. Okay, perfect. Really good job with those. Thank you so much uh, for helping us with those words. Okay, now guys, let's take a look at this vocabulary here in that case. So tenemos todas estas phrasal verbs, but again, uh, las vamos a, no las vamos a poner en el traductor. Las vamos a poner si las necesitan buscar el significado in the dictionary uh, y juntas, right? Estas nunca se separan. We don't separate them porque si le cambiamos la segunda palabra, el significado va a cambiar. So, uh, vamos a memorizarlas así como están. Uh, first, y lo más importante, la pronunciación de estas palabras es más fuerte al final. It's going to be stronger at the very end of the word. For example, tengo uh, up, tengo down, tengo on, tengo up, tengo in, tengo, ¿qué más tengo? Out, into, que son de las diferentes. 
So, todas van a ser más fuertes al final. Guys, repitan conmigo, please. Repeat with me. Print out. Print out. Mm -hmm. Más fuerte al final. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Mm -hmm. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. Go online. Go online. online. Okay. Uh, click on. Click, click on. on. Click on. Más fuerte al final. Click on. Hacking. Click on. Hacking. 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 Okay. Uh, next one is uh, backup. Backup. Next one is plugin. 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 Mm -hmm. Plugin. Next one is sign up. Sign, sign up. up. Sign up. Sign up. Uh -huh. Sign up. And the last one is log out. Log out. Log out. Un amos el sonido. Log out. Log out. Ok, very good. Now, estas son bien importantes porque todas las utilizamos every single day. So, son actividades que hacemos in your computer. For example, if I want to say, oh, cierre la sesión. How can I say cierre la sesión? Uh, si estoy en la computadora and I want to tell you, ah, cierre su correo, cierre la sesión de su correo, you know. Or um, ponga, por ejemplo, su dedo para cuando, ya cuando sale de la empresa. So, esa es una palabra que utilizamos, una phrase adverb. ¿Cuál creen que sería de estas? Click on. Mm, click Without. on, yes. Pero hay otra más que es como irse. Log out, Without. exactly. So, log out is the word that we use for that. Cuando ya se van de la empresa, ¿qué hacemos? Ah, we log out. ¿Está de acá? We log out. Si usted pone el dedo, eh, le llaman a veces finger out, pero el más, or clock out, pero el más común es log out. Ah, ya, ya me voy, you know. Voy a apagar mi computadora. I'm going to log out, right? I will log out. So I normally, uh, I finish class at 10, But I log out at, from my Zoom session at 10, 10, 10, 15 normally. So that's log out. Como salir de una sesión o ya deslogarse cuando hablamos de tecnología, right? Log out. Next one, guys. So, um, so si log out es irse o salir, ¿cuál sería lo opuesto? ¿Cuál sería entrar al correo, entrar a mi cuenta o empezar a trabajar si trabajan con computadora? Sign up. Sign up. Oh, yes, pero hay otra palabra. What is it? Backup. Oh, está, yeah. No está acá, no está acá pero, pero si log out es irse, salir, ¿cuál sería lo opuesto? Login. Login, exactly. Entonces solamente le vamos cambiando. That's why les mencionaba que si cambiamos una letra, si cambiamos una frase, le cambiamos el significado. So estos son los opuestos, right? Login. Yo entro, me logueo, me registro, logueo, yo ya me salgo, right? Yo eh, cierro mi sesión. That is the idea. Sign up. Eh, sign up sí se puede utilizar para eso, pero sign up es para algo más. ¿Alguien ha visto sign up? In your computers es bien común. In Facebook, when you create Facebook, ¿qué hacemos cuando no tenemos una cuenta? Inscribirse. Ajá. Uh -huh. Creamos y eso se llama sign up. So sign up es crear una cuenta, right? To create an account mm -hmm. uh, or suscribirse, sign up or subscribe, that can be. But in general, eso se hace solo una vez. So the first time you sign up in an account y la segunda ya no es eso, sino que la segunda es login porque ya tiene cuenta, right? Es la gran diferencia. Sign up, crear una cuenta, login, ingresar o uh, or ya empezar a trabajar en su sesión, right? Eh, plugin, any idea what is plugin? Creo que por ahí la estuvieron utilizando el día de ayer. Um, eh, the same problemas. backup. The same backup. Mm, no. No, es, es más físico. Oh. Como desconectarse. Uh, casi, pero lo opuesto. Conectarse. 
Ajá, pero conectar algo físico. So, plug in es cuando usted dice, ay, my computer doesn't have too much battery. I need to plug mm -hmm. it in. Necesito conectarla. Conectar. So, en vez de decir connect, vamos a decir plug in, right? Si les gusta la música, probablemente han escuchado la palabra unplugged, que es lo opuesto, right? That is the opposite. So, we have plug in right here. That is connector. So, oh, el opuesto de plugin, este va a cambiar. Y por eso es que le utilizamos unplug. So, desconectado, right? Unplug. Se lo voy a escribir en el chat. Eh, again, eso lo van a ver bastante in your computer. Cuando se les ponga el teclado en inglés, you know, your uh, computer in English or your phone in English, they are super important. Okay, next one is backup. Creo que alguien lo mencionó. Un respaldo. Un respaldo, exactly. Uh, un respaldo como un, una copia de algo, right? So that would be a backup. Hacking too, creo que no necesitamos explicación, so solamente es hacking, right? Hackear algo, so hacking. Click on, yo creo que ustedes lo manejan, solo darle mm -hmm. click, right? Click on that, click on the arrow, click on the start, click on the corner. Go online, igual yo creo que lo manejamos, que es como ir, entrar a la internet, ah. right? Shut down, what is shut down? Como cerrar algo así. Mm -hmm. Cerrar o apagar, exactly, shut down. Lo vamos a ver mucho en the, your computer too. Eh, cuando el teclado esté, cuando la computadora está en inglés, aparece shut down en vez de turn off. Uh, scroll down lo veíamos aquel día que es como eh, con el mouse ir hasta abajo, right? Uh -huh. Desplazarse hacia abajo. En print out que es lo mismo que imprimir, so we use print. Pero print out es la más común. So es lo mismo, pero suena como más elegante. So <laughs> just for you to have this into account. And guys, estamos bien with those words. Are we all right? Uh, in your work, ¿qué es lo más común que utilizan? What's the most common? Shut down. Shut down when... Ajá, uh... uh -huh, shut down. Cuando apago la computadora, when... Uh... Shut down. Salir okay. de un programa. Yes, yes, shut down, okay. Login. Ok. Login. Ok, so entrar, registrarse, ok. Backup. Backup, exactly. Bueno, well, de hecho ahora todos hacemos backup eh, si tenemos Drive o si tenemos iPhone, right? So ya tenemos la nube, we have the cloud y ya todo se va a la nube. So that is a sort of backup. Ok. Very nice. Preguntas, guys, que son phrasal verbs. Preguntas del significado de estas palabras. Do you have an equation? Ok, ya las vamos a practicar, así que no se me vayan a preocupar por eso. No worries. We are going to use these words a lot. But eh, first, vamos a revisar una pequeña conversación donde eh, vemos un par más. We see a lot more vocabulary related to phrasal verbs. And you can find them in page number 35. And in page 35, we have these words in black or in bold letter. Las tenemos en negrita, right? Again, uh, algunas no cambian tanto significado, solamente es porque suenan más elegantes or son más comunes. And, but I have to be super honest, guys. Las phrasal verbs las van a encontrar muy, muy seguido en películas, en series, en la vida real, so, se utiliza muchísimo. So, it's a very important part of the language. All right, so let's take a look here. Eh, uh, well, primero let me go and let me check the words that can be new. So we have tighten, we have a screw, we have clean up, we have switch off, Ooh. Switch off, we have collab, we have engine, we have turn off, 
we have Zizap, and we have eventually. All right. Um, ¿Hay otra palabra que es nueva, guys, for you? Hi, Paolo. Good evening. Good evening. Great to see you. Thank you for joining. Solo si nos ayuda con su nombre, porfa, siempre, para que, porque no, no, no aparece registrado. And hi, Hector. Good evening. Okay, guys, ven palabras nuevas. Do you see new vocabulary? No la intenten comprender. Solamente revisan rapidito si ven palabras que sean como un poco nuevas. Nothing. Size up. Okay, only that word. Okay. So let's repeat them in that case, guys. Repitan conmigo, please. Activen su micrófono un momento, or si prefieren hacerlos eh, sin el micrófono encendido, but hacerlo en su casa, it's totally fine too. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, repeat with me. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten. Tighten, uh -huh. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. La palabra up está acá, pero lo pronunciamos siempre junto. Tighten up. Tighten up. Uh -huh. Screw. 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 Uh, screw. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Remember, el, al final siempre es más fuerte. Switch off. Switch off. Uh -huh. Collapse. Collab. Collab. Electrician. Electrician. I forgot to. Uh -huh. Electrician. Electrician. Very nice. Engine. 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 Turn off. Door off. Turn off. Mm -hmm. Seize up. Seize See? up. So. Seize, seize, seize up, up. Seize up. Mm -hmm. eventually, 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 uh -huh. very nice, la T por lo general eh, se pronuncia como un ch, uh -huh. so eventually, eventually, eventually. eventually. All right, yes. there we go. Okay, guys, very nice. Ahora sí, practicamos la conversación completa. Uh, can I have some volunteers? Can I have some voices, guys? Who is ready to participate on a Friday? <laughs> Kevin, I'm ready, teacher. Great, Mauricio, amazing. Okay. Kevin, I'm super glad to listen to your voice. Espero que ya se sienta mucho mejor. I hope you're feeling better. So, uh, Paolo, ayúdenos con Dave. Eh, Mauricio, ayúdenos con Tom. Okay. And then we're going to have, eh, creo que vi la mano de Damaris también por ahí, so we can, you know, have you in the second round. So, Kevin, si está listo, ayúdenos with your microphone, please. I begin. Ah, oh, yes, please. If you're ready, let's do it. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spaniel, please? I need to take it up this crew. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did kid clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch switch out the power great by the way did you call up the electrician the engine does doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem yeah i think that is you don't oil it regularly it will say up eventually. That's correct. Thank you. 
Very nice. All right, guys, sounds really good. Really nice indeed. All right, let me just have some more people practicing here. Um, Damaris, help us, please. Help us with Dave. And guys, I need another person, please, to help us with Tom. I am Dave, teacher. Yes, please, help us with Dave. And we okay. need a Tom. <laughs> so who can help us with Tom? Uh, okay, perfect. ¿Qué nos dijo mí? No identifique la voz. I couldn't identify the voice. Julio. Ah, perfect, Julio. Let's do it. <clears throat> Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spinner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because asking him to the switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electric? Uh, the electrician. Electrician? The engine? Engine doesn't stop to turn off, and mm -hmm. now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't know oil, it's regular. It will sign up eventually. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Sounds really nice. Okay, guys, so take a look at this conversation first. ¿De qué están hablando? What are they talking about? The, el motor falló. Okay, so the engine doesn't work. Okay, ¿qué más? Mm, estaba pidiéndole una llave para apretar un tornillo. Okay, they need a spanner, exactly. So to tighten, uh -huh. so para apretar, very nice. ¿Qué más? Le dice que antes que se vaya tienen que limpiar el cuarto. Mm, they need to clean up the room, okay. Good. Algo más, anything else? Porque dejó apagado el, el switch this, del power. Mm -hmm. Switch off the power, all right. So, tiene que apagar la electricidad, okay. Mm -hmm. O el flujo de la electricidad. Anything else? También lo dice que es correcto. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, porque al final <laughs> dice, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, como en los carros, right? Mm -hmm. Si, if we don't oil it, si no les ponemos uh, aceite regularmente, ¿Qué es lo que va a pasar, guys? What, what yeah. happens cuando se nos olvida hacer mantenimiento de la moto, la like motorcycle, a machine, or a car? Se quemará el motor, algo así. Uh, exactly. So it will seize up eventually. ¿Qué es lo que va a pasar si no eh, ponemos aceite? Well, fácil, guys. Que seize up es que se nos va a descomponer, right? Se va a arruinar. Eh, va a empezar las piezas a quebrarse, and that is the idea of CISA. So, ¿cómo decimos apretar? How do you say apretar como una pieza, you know, a machine or something? Pack. Yeah. Apretar. Tighten up. Tighten, tighten up. Exactly, tighten up. How do you say limpiar? Clean up. Clean up, es yeah. el mismo clean, pero clean up es como más sofisticado. All right, how do you say llamar a alguien? Call, call up. up. Call up, es el mismo call, si se fijan, pero le agregamos yeah. up para que eh, suena mucho mejor y es más común. How do you say apagar? Hay dos formas de, hacer, de decir apagar. Switch up. Switch up and turn off. Turn and off. turn off, turn exactly. Off. And how do you say tornillo, guys? Screw. Screw, exactly. Screw. Lo tenemos arriba. So tighten up, 
This so, skirt. Very good. So these are the most common phrasal verbs que vamos a utilizar para hablar de maquinaria, right? Tighten up, sign up, si es computadora, eh, etc., etc. So, en general, ¿qué son phrasal verbs? En la página 36, we have some verbs are two part verbs. En general, son verbos que tienen dos palabras, right? They consist on a verb, in a particle, or a small word like a preposition. Uh, for example, take after, he takes after his father. He looks like his father or he behaves like his father. Ah, acá tenemos otra phrasal verb, que es take after. Okay. But guys, ¿qué, ¿qué pasa si yo la pongo en el traductor take after? Que el traductor me va a decir tomar después. Pero nada que ver, porque take after, mm -hmm. ¿qué significa? What is take after? Según el ejemplo que saca, what is take after? Oh, Acá está el ejemplo, guys. You got the example here. ¿Qué entienden por take after? What is that? Algo así como tomarlo y hacer lo que tiene que hacer con lo que ha tomado. Mm. Maybe. Es diferente, es un poquito diferente. Yo pienso que como tomar el ejemplo, ¿no? Mm, ok, por ahí vamos, por ahí vamos. Dice, he takes after his father. Este es el ejemplo, he takes after his father. Pero que es takes after? He looks like his father. Or he behaves like his father. So, in Spanish, ¿qué es takes after? What do you think? In Salvadorian vocabulary? Algo así como parecido, ¿no? Exactly. So, in Salvadorian vocabulary, este es parecerse. Exactly. Como cuando usted dice, ay, te pareces a tu papá. He looks like his father. Entonces, por eso es que no las traducimos en, yeah. en el traductor, right? Correcto. Sino que lo que podemos hacer es ponerlas en el diccionario, in the Google, right? Porque tenemos, el traductor nos va a dar un, un, una traducción literal y no es lo mismo. Next one we have is call off. Call, ¿Qué creen oh. que es call off? Call es llamar, yes. Pero call off no es llamar algo. So, no. <laughs> ¿Qué es call off? Mary call off the meeting. Este es el ejemplo. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo cancelar, 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 poner, yes. Entonces, si usted quiere decir, Ay, voy a cancelar la reunión. I'm going to call off. call off the meeting. My boss called off the meeting. Ya no hay reunión, él la canceló. So, Mary canceled the meeting. So, guys, again, ¿cuál es la única forma de aprenderse esto? Memorizándolo, practicándolo mm -hmm. every single day. No hay otra forma. Um, ¿Puedo utilizarlo en pasado? Claro, of course, why not? For example, yo quiero decir que mi, mi mamá, um, so my mom, oh, for example, alguien que ya no esté en mi familia, alguien, alguien que yo ya no esté con nosotros, so yo puedo decir perfectamente, to after my grandma, so my grandma, took after my great grandma's, grandma's characteristics or personality, let's say. Personality. So again, ¿qué estoy intentando decir? Took after no es tomar después, sino take after es parecer. Haber heredado características, exactly. So that is the point with those. So yo lo puedo utilizar en presente, en, en pasado, en futuro, en los continuos, en todos los tiempos. No hay ningún problema. Lo único que tenemos que tener cuidado es de no separar la palabra o no cambiarla porque estamos cambiando el significado de lo que queremos decir. So, ya vamos a practicar okay, los guys. Me. Dígame, dígame. Can you give us a link to practice the listening? Uh, listening. Yep. Uh, what kind of listening do you mean? Like listening. any listening or, any, or are any, you any, talking any. about phrasal verbs? No, any listening. 
Oh, sure, I can give you a cowboy. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Let me check on that. Mm. Oh, you meant this one. So I'm gonna share with you guys uh, a place where you can practice listening. And additionally, I'm going to share with you some of the common phrasal verbs. So you can listen to Give me one sec. Okay, so uh, there you go. You got like some places where you can practice and listen to some phrasal verbs. Because again, the phrasal verbs no son nada más guys que vocabulario extra. No, ni siquiera son, um, well, si son verbos, pero vocabulario adicional. So take a look here really quick. Uh, tenemos match each verb with the preposition and complete the sentence with one of them. So tenemos tighten up, que es la segunda parte del verbo. What about the rest? Switch. switch ¿Cuál off. sería? Switch. Switch off. Okay, switch so switch. Off. Switch off. Y para clean, ¿cuál usamos con clean? Clean. Clean up. up. Clean up. Very good. What about seize? Seize. Up. Up. Okay. Seize up. Mm -hmm. We uh, have torn. Pero yo también puedo utilizar turn up, solo que el significado ya no va a ser el mismo. And we have call. Call oh. up. Ah. Hola. ¿Qué era call up, guys? Um, cancelar una llamada. Oh. Ah, no. Eh, Interesting, porque si le cambiamos una palabra. Call up es llamar. Llamar, call up es llamar. Entonces, ¿cómo digo cancelar? Call up. Call, call off, up. exactly. So, una letra, guys, una palabra yeah. que le cambiamos, ya cambiamos la palabra, ya cambiamos el significado. All right. So that is the one, exactly. Now, really quick, vamos a crear ejemplos. We're going to make some examples con los verbos que están acá. Please, guys, eh, háganme el enorme favor de escribirlos en el chat. Quiero también ver cómo escriben, how you write them. Y si hay, you know, algo que podamos corregir, we can correct it in this very moment, or just to make sure that you got the meaning as well. So um, we have tighten up, switch off, clean up. Remember, clean up es lo mismo que clean, pero le agregamos el up. Si es tercera persona, al verbo siempre le agregamos la S, pero es al, al verbo, you know, a la palabra como tightens, switches, or cleans, uh, or turns, or cualquier verbo, no le agregamos después de off, sino después del verbo, right? Uh, just if you got that question. So, guys, eh, tenemos cinco minutos. We got five minutes. Please escríbanme. <coughs> El ejemplo in the chat. Write your examples in the chat. De los seis verbos que están acá, please. The six verbs you have here. Hola Dinora, good evening. Acabo de ver su mensaje, no se preocupe, mis. Me alegra que ya está por acá. You're always welcome. Thank you, teacher. Ah, so, mis, ahorita estamos revisando el significado de estas, eh, del ejercicio número 5. Estamos en la página 36. Um, Dinora, ¿alguna vez había escuchado de phrasal verbs? 
¿Conoce alguna phrase, Albert? ¿Conoce algunas, algunos verbos que llevan dos palabras? No. No, no, teacher. Bueno, de hecho, usamos, son expresiones bien comunes. Eh, okay. Por ejemplo, usamos eh, get up, wake up, esas ya son phrase, Albert. Ah, And, yes. Uh -huh, y acá tenemos un par más eh, para que se familiarice uh -huh. con el significado. En la página 35, page 35, tenemos una pequeña conversación con un par de ellas. Oh, okay. um, so you have, for example, I need to tighten up this screw, clean up, switch off, call up, uh -huh. etc. Entonces, okay. lo que estamos haciendo ahorita es intentar escribir ejemplos con estos verbos. Oh, uh, okay. uh -huh. So tighten up es ajustar uh -huh. algo o apretar algo. Uh -huh. eh, so, for example, uh, in my case, yo tengo, uso braces, right? Y todos los meses voy al dentista a que me aprieten los, mm, o a que bracket. me ajusten, exacto, los braces. Entonces, I need to go to the, dent to the dentist to get my teeth tightened up, okay. or to get my braces tightened up. Eh, uh -huh. So, estas palabras siempre van juntas, nunca se separan. Uh, yeah. eh, no le puedo quitar una, una de, la expresión segunda, por ejemplo, la proposición, porque ya no significa lo mismo, uh -huh. ni la puedo modificar. Uh -huh. Tenemos que switch off, en turn off, que significa en apagar, uh -huh. clean up, que es lo mismo que limpiar, limpiar. up, que es descomponerse o arruinarse, romperse en pedazos. La pronunciación es seize up. Seize eh, up. Seize uh -huh. uh, up. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Y la última que está por acá es cola. cola. Que es lo mismo que llamar, básicamente. Llamar. Es un cola. Uh -huh. Okay. Is a uh, one sentence for each word. That Words. is correct. One okay. sentence for each word. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, you are welcome. Mauricio, okay. it says, could you pass me? Sí, tapadera. Could you, could you pass me front? Tapadera, como, what do you say? Pero depende, ¿en qué está pensando? ¿En, en, tapa, en, en apretar un, la tapadera de un bote. Could you pass me the lead? Ok. So, en es, eh, si es una tapadera de algo, sería una lead. Lead. No lo puedo mandar. Ah. Dígame, ah, okay. Miss. No lo puedo mandar, teacher. ¿En el chat? Sí, teacher, no sé por qué. Oh, ¿Le parece algún error? Eh, de Mari se mutió, está en mute. No, me aparece la opción de enviar, teacher. Mm. A acá en su teacher no me aparece le voy a mandar una captura al, al, al chat al yes, grupo please, qué raro pasame el teléfono y está en, el, en la computadora yes teacher oh wait, wait. Déjame ver las configuraciones. Mostrar. Ok, so tighten up the screw. Well, según esto está habilitado para todos. Turn off the lights, okay. Okay, okay guys, so remember, intentemos eh, escribir una oración de la que ustedes se vayan a recordar, right? Eh, 
Voy a ver esto que me sale. Qué raro. Miss, ¿y si solo le da enter? No, teacher, igual me... Ahí le envié al grupo el, el, la captura. Sí, la, la logro ver, pero... Eh, y, y si solo intenta después de la oración darle enter, le aparece algún mensaje. Como un, algún mensaje de error o algo. Ya, ya se envió, teacher. Qué raro. Teacher, ya se envió. Estaba muy larga quizás la... No, pues ah. igual así la mandé, así la envié. Ah, no, 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 ya. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, no worries. Ok, Julio, very nice. Lo, Julio, agreguémosle también el sujeto, right? Try to add the subject to. Eh, so, para que trabajemos con los tiempos verbales, presente, pasado, futuro. So you can add a subject to. Sí, sí. Hola, hola, Miss. Teacher, uh, I have a question. Dígame. Is the same switch off and turn off? Um, yes. De hecho, es el mismo apagar. Lo único que a veces um, switch off es más cuando hay palancas o cuando hay mm. como un switch de la luz, right? Mm -hmm. Pero en realidad es lo mismo. That would be the same. Ah, okay. Thank you. Welcome. My boss calls. Turn off. Mm, okay. Okay, Abby, uh, I just think, creo que me le falta una palabra, creo que se me le fue por ahí. No sé si era, I'm not sure if you meant my boss calls up for lunch or my boss calls off. The lunch, I'm not sure. Give us some ideas there. No sé si quiere decir que my boss llamó cuando estaba en el almuerzo o que él suspendió el almuerzo. I'm not quite sure. Uh, my boss, ajá, uh -huh, suspendió el almuerzo. My boss hmm. called off. Call off. Ah, okay. Lunch. Got it, got it. Yes, entonces solamente oh. una letra F le falta. Got it, then. Oh, yes, it's yes. Sorry. No problem, my, no, no problem. Got okay. it. Okay. My boss called off the, the Christmas lunch. Ah, oh, that's so bad. El mío también. <laughs> my <laughs> boss did too. So no party, no party this year. No, party. No va a haber fiesta. So bad. Okay. I could.
Okay, I was switched off the radio at night. All right, sounds good. Eh, solo Abigail, agreguemosle la ES a switch, right? Um, Mauricio, oh, good. Eh, lo mismo, agreguemosle la S. My sister calls off mm -hmm. the family meeting. So, cambiamos el orden, my family meeting. Repair maintenance uh -huh, and uh -huh. not the car break it every year. Ah, oh, okay. So the repairman, uh, okay. Falto la, sí. <laughs> yeah, Abigail, no worries. Yeah. Or lo puede ser en pasado también. You can make it pass, like agregándole ED porque son regulares. Or, sí, la S. We need letter S as well. Guys, ayúdennos con sus ejemplos. Please send them in the chat just to make sure we got it. Um, that we practice it and uh, y que tenemos claro que significa, right? To make sure you got those. Okay. Yes, Miss. Um, I have a question. What the meaning say out? Say out. Huh? Say out. Yeah. It's the number four. Number four. Ah, that one. So, this that is cuando, um, for example, una máquina le deja de funcionar uh -huh. y puede ser que internamente eh, se le dañe, you know, or simplemente ya no funcione. Eso sería un CISA. Dejar de funcionar porque se quiebra, porque se hace pedazos. Uh, o ya no reaccione. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. So, eh, veo los ejemplos de Kevin. I need to tighten up a knot. Please switch up the lights every night. Very good. Clean up your desk every day. Your machine zizz up because it was wet. All right. Solo le agregamos la de para que sea pasado. Mary tiene off my machine, please. Uh, no sé si era Mary turn off my machine or switch off my machine. I call up a plumber to repair a pipe. Oh, very nice. I call up a plumber. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool, cool. Those are really good examples. My boss call up the meeting, call up, call up. Call up stuff to a meeting. Uh, okay, so Georgina, just to make sure that uh, we get that. So uh, this and my boss call up a meeting to call up meeting to the staff. You mean like el jefe llamó a que tuvieran una reunión? Uh, is that what you mean? A eso se refiere, Miss? Yes. Okay, okay. So, que eso solamente cambiamos el orden. So, my boss eh, call up the staff to a meeting, right? But, but está super bien. My sister call up to the call center, claro, yesterday. My sister call up. Uh, okay, so solamente como para no repetir lo mismo, we can say my sister call up claro yesterday. Okay, sounds really good. Podemos quitarle la parte de call center. Mm -hmm. 
sharing information. Ah, okay. No, no worries, Paola, but that's all right. Sounds good. It's really good. Okay, the secretary turned off the computer. Okay, sounds definitely nice. Okay, guys, very good. Sounds really, really cool. Okay. All right, guys, sounds really nice. My husband cleans up the house on, on Saturday. Okay, sounds good. My sister takes after my father. Oh, very nice. You are including take after. Okay, good. So your sister se parecen a su papá, I believe, right? Nice. Nice, nice. I'll give you one more minute in case you have more examples, guys. You can send them here. Teacher, yes, uh, hija is daughter. Daughter, yes. Um, ¿Cómo se escribe, teacher? Ah, daughter. Let me write it in the chat. So, okay. uh, the, uh, daughter. There you hmm. go. Fortnite or Fortnite. Cristiano Ronaldo o Messi? Messi. Barcelona o Madrid? Gracias, Emilio. Una canción que te guste. Okay, so you have a brick machine. Uh, you mean like la máquina está rota, Mauricio? Sí, o sea, no, brick machine es una expresión que utilizamos en el trabajo para decir que está, está fallando. No sé si es correcto eso. Quizás, eh, utiliz quizás podamos cambiar la palabra para broken. We have a broken machine. Broken machine. Ajá, el pasado participio. Break, ah, broke, broken. Eh. I mean, porque la expresión está súper bien. Solo la cambiamos a broken. Que ah, a participio. A participio, uh -huh. ok. Cuando usted dice que algo está arruinado, usted dice está broken. Ajá. Like the computer is broken, the TV is broken, que se asume o entendemos que es arruinado. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you, so, teacher. Yes. Thank you, chicos. Broken. Mm -hmm. broken. We have a broken machine. But the rest is nice. The rest is really good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, so let's move. My daughter takes after he, her father. Okay. <laughs> All right. Solamente la S, right? No se nos olvide la S. The mechanic tightens up the screw to a car. All right. Sounds good. Uh, guys, no se nos olvide tercera persona. Solo verbo siempre. Vamos a agregarles S a los verbos, right? So takes, calls. Eh, si hablamos de tercera persona, siempre lleva la S, la S, so eso sí lo respetamos. Okay, very nice. 
So guys, to continue here, revisemos eh, some examples and exercises we have at the bottom, utilizando los mismos verbos, using the same verse here. So uh, we have this one, switch off. We said we have clean up. We also said we have turn off, seize up, and call up. Okay. Now, take a look at the following exercise. There we have my TV is up yesterday. Okay. It says watch match each verb with the corresponding space as well, right? To complete the meaning of the sentences. For example, can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt, right? So, tienen que apretar o tienen que asegurar algo, right? You need to tighten up something. This workshop is very dirty. Let's, ¿y qué nos hace falta here? What are we missing? Clean up. Um, mm, okay, so let's. Limpiémoslo. ¿Cómo decimos limpiémoslo? Clean up. Let's clean up. Exactly. Let's clean up this place. Very good. Let's clean up this place. Exactly. What about the rest of them? Guys, I'll give you some minutes. Leamos el resto del ejercicio. So read the rest of them and help me with the phrasal verse. I'll give you like two more minutes. Teacher, how do yes, we what both what? Ah, bolt. Yes. Es que se lo tengo que mostrar, Miss. I need to show it to you. Um, actually, a bolt. No sé si va a poder. No sé si mi cámara lo van a poder ver. Ah, no, no se puede por el filtro. Can you see that? No, right. No, you can't. Tornillo. No. Eh, sí, sí, pero, pero industriales. Ah, ok. Interno. Mm, mm, that one, that one. That is the one. Es un tornillo, pero de macho. La diferencia es que no lleva como la punta eh, delgada, right? So, mm, sí, un perno, un tornillo. That's. De bueno, no sé si tiene otro significado, guys. Si saben de otro, ayúdennos. Help us. Teacher, ¿podría ser un screw? Um, Se parece. La diferencia, Hi, la diferencia es que el screw mm, lleva la puntita eh, súper fina, right? Eh, y como sharp, okay. termina en punta. En el bolt es, es como romas o ah, es una superficie plana, ajá, no lleva punta, pero en realidad es bastante similar, es kind of similar. Okay, thank you. Se da vuelta siempre. Yo encontré perno, tornillo, rayo. Ah, sí, es que, let me show you, wait. Les muestro, guys. La, es que la diferencia solamente es como por el, el uso, wait. Uh, let me see. I cannot show you internet, but I can show you the picture. Busquenlo como foto, guys. Look for it as a picture, then you're going to find it. So the difference goes in. Um, no, it's not working. Wait, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get the difference here for you. So give me a second. I know it's not working. Okay, 
good thing I got a picture for you. So, but the difference mostly is like the use of it. And uh, if you Google it, right? I am not an expert, so probably Hector nos puede ayudar there or alguien más que trabaja en el área de like industrial or uh, hardware or warehouse or anything. But probably uh, the, the difference I found is that a bolt normally just goes uh, with a plain H, right? And normally the screw is a little bit different because of this thing. But if you know any other difference, let us know. Thank you, teacher. No problem. So, so going back. Going back. Oh, going back, we have this exercise. Give me a sec. And let me go back there. Okay, there we go. One more minute, guys. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you for the confirmation. Guys, please let us know when you finish as well. Finish. Okay, perfect. Uh, guys, los demás ya terminaron. Did you finish too? Okay, guys, so help us please. Number one, already we have it. Number two, I think we already have it too. Uh, what about next one? Number three. Number three says, remember to the power before you remove the machine. What do you have? Switch off. Okay, so switch off. Remember to switch off the power, exactly. There we go. What about number four? I hope the computer won again. Too rough. Too okay. Rough. I hope the computer. Turn up. One. Turn up. Turn up. Turn off. Turn off. Remember, si le cambiamos una palabra, ya cambiamos el significado too. So, any idea here? Si podemos utilizar turn off. I hope I hope the computer won't turn off. Yeah, turn off. Sí, turn off again. Y si le ponemos turn off, que turn off, ¿qué significaría? Turn up con up. 
Ajá, entre tú off y tú up, ¿cuál sería la diferencia? Ay, todo, mister. <risa> turn off <risa> es apagar. En turn up es aparecer. Ah, so, okay. ya no sería lo mismo. Uh -huh. It wouldn't be the same. Eh, porque turn tiene, no sé si han escuchado que, por ejemplo, get tiene muchos significados. Pero una razón es porque get lo puedo utilizar como phrasal verbs y tiene más de 20 significados. Entre get in, get on, get up, get over. So, todos tienen significados diferentes. So, ya cambiaría. Uh -huh. Next one, guys. Vamos con la number five. If you don't lubricate these types of machine regularly, they will. ¿Qué es lo que pasa si no le echamos aceite? We don't put oil. Uh, thanks, oh. They will seize that. Number four. Mm -hmm. Number six. The printer just stopped working. We need to? Call up. Call up. Call up. We need to call up a technician. Up. Very good. Exactly. Very good. That's it. Okay, guys, preguntas con esto. Do you have any questions with those? Si no me equivoco, eh, tienen ejercicio en la plataforma precisamente de phrasal verbs. And again, no es de tenerles miedo, solo es de memorizarlas, right? So, vamos a seguirlas trabajando, guys, on Monday. Solo les voy a pedir que las repasen. Uh, porque ahorita sería like too much uh, to work on them, porque necesitamos... Práctica, pero antes de práctica necesitamos memorizarlas. We need to memorize them. So, please, guys, memorize las, memorize a couple of them. Eh, al menos el encender, el apagar, llamar, cancelar, que son las que hemos revisado el día de ahora. Eh, to continue, guys, la actividad que we are going to put a lot of effort today is in speaking. No hemos practicado speaking uh, um, freely this week. So, vamos a revisarlo in the following exercise here. Um, he preparado, guys, alrededor de 10 preguntas. I have prepared 10 questions for you. Like the most common questions. Esperando que me digan, yes, I have. <laughs> Hoping esto es parte de sus experiencias de vida que alguna vez lo hayan hecho. ¿Cómo responde esas preguntas? Remember, decíamos que si le pregunto, have you ever? Yo digo, yes, I have. Pero si yo no lo he hecho, digo, uh, no, I haven't, right? So, no, I haven't. Y eso es todo. So, yes, I have, and no, I haven't. Y eso es la respuesta corta. Pero necesitamos dar detalles. So, we're going to try to give details. Al igual que el día de ayer, guys, no escriban respuestas. You don't need to write your answers. Eh, solamente hablen. Try to speak. Intenten equivocarse, guys. Les van a surgir eh, muchas palabras de no sé cómo decirlo, pero intentemos. That is going to be the objective of this activity. So try to give as much information as you can. Um, for example, number one says, have you ever appreciated a sunset? No sé si han visto alguna vez un atardecer. If the answer yes, is, I have, yes, I have, but yes, then it's the details. Give us details. <laughs> yes, I have. One day, you know, yes. y ahí comenzamos a dar detalles. <laughs> o me perdí and I ended up in la libertad. I don't know. <laughs> but give us some details. Si nunca he ido, if you say, no, I haven't, está bien. Pero díganos más detalles también. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? No, I haven't. Because um, I don't like to go to places far away. I don't like to go to the beach. No me gusta salir de mi casa. I don't like to go out of my house. Or, I don't know, invéntese algo. O no, todavía, pero me gustaría. Remember también que está la expresión todavía no, que es algo que yo espero hacer, no, pero todavía no. Y era not yet. Todavía no, no yet. But this year on my vacations, I went to go to the beach and see a sunset. You know, like this, dar detalles, guys. Si no saben cómo decirlo en inglés, no se preocupen. Díganlo en español y que los compañeros les ayuden a armar la oración, right? A armar lo que quieren decir, but give it a try. Uh, you have, have you ever been, number two, have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? What is the question, guys? Number two. Uh, ¿Sobre qué se refiere la pregunta? Have you ever been a guest? At a surprise party. What is the meaning of guest? The maris. Help us. Invitado. Guys, ¿alguna vez los han invitado a una fiesta? 
have yes, you ever? Yes, I have. Pero una fiesta sorpresa. Have you ever been a guest at a surprise party? Yes, I have. Ah, uh -huh, sir. Yes, I have. Ten los detalles. What yes, happened? ¿qué pasó? What happened? Salió todo bien? Was it good? Was it interesting? Or it was boring? So, intenten darnos detalles, right? Next one says, have you ever been on TV? ¿Alguna vez han aparecido en la televisión? Have you been to a theater? ¿Han ido alguna vez al teatro? Right? Have you broken a bone? ¿Se han quebrado alguna parte del cuerpo, guys? Number seven, have you ever called your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, uh, significant other by the wrong name? ¿Le han llamado a su esposo o a su esposa con el nombre equivocado with the wrong name? The, <laughs> or boyfriend or girlfriend with the wrong name? Yes, I have one time. No! <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah. His oh my name, God! How did you survive? Is, uh, it's an ex ex girlfriend. Uh, his name is Claudia. Okay. And I say Clara. Clara. Oh, but it's similar. What did she say? But he know Clara. Um, oh, so know that that person existed. That yeah. No. 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 He knows, Sorry. he knows Clara, and uh, he knows that that she likes me. Oh, wait! When you say she likes you, you mean a ella usted le gustaba, o a usted le gustaba a ella? A mí me gustaba ella. Bueno, ah, gustaba, wait, wait, wait! Entonces gustaba. cambiémosle. Ajá. O sea, cambiémosle, cambiémosle. Cause si yo digo she liked me, es no, a ella liked, yo le gustaba. He like me. Yeah, pero es como um, a ella usted le gusta. Ah. Ajá, entonces si quiero decir a mí me gusta, entonces cambiamos la, como la oración nada más, right? So, I like I her. Like. Ajá. O si uh, es pasado, uh, I, pues I, I like, like her. Ajá, ok. Uh, ok, quiero todo el chambre, mi <laughs> <laughs> so, traer a telas, intente contarnos, traer a telas. Ok, guys, súper importante. Eh, recordemos que el sujeto siempre va primero porque es aquí, right? So, esto, eh, so, she likes me, si sí, sería hombre, right? Como a él yo le gusto. So, he likes me. Or, si quiero decir a mí me gusta él o a mí me gustaba él, so I liked him, right? Ahí cambia eh, el orden. Number eight, have you ever cheated on an exam? Acá tenemos otra phrase word. So cheated on significa hacer trampa. Guys, ¿alguna vez han hecho trampa en una evaluación? No precisamente here, but in your company, or in the, at the university, in the school. Have you ever cheated on an exam? ¿Han hecho trampa? ¿Han copiado? Have you done that? <laughs> I think false, the people. Have you? I think all the people, teacher. Yeah, I think it's common. Uh -huh, but uh, look, aquí tenemos una fotito. So, cuéntenos cómo han copiado. How did you cheat on the exam, right? What did you do? Number nine says, have you ever dated someone from another race, culture, or religion? So, han salido con alguien from another country? Como ahora que todo el mundo está hablando de Qatar and um, people from that country, right? And... Uh, so Muslim people and all of those things. So have you dated someone from other race, culture, or religion? Y la última, have you ever eaten in a restaurant and realized you have no money with you? ¿Alguna vez han ido sin dinero? Have you ever gone to a restaurant? Y se dan cuenta que no andan billetera, no money, no debit card, no credit card, nothing. So again, si no lo han hecho, if you haven't done it, Cuéntenos por qué, cuéntenos qué harían, what would you do in that case, cómo lo solucionarían, so anything you can tell us in English, right? If not, guys, si les cuesta un poquito, no se preocupen, díganlo en español en acá nos ayudamos, right? Guys, vamos a hacer tres, tres grupos, we're going to make three groups. Eh, les voy a estar compartiendo la pantalla también para que ustedes puedan 
you know, um, share your opinions. No van a escribir nada. You're not supposed to write anything. Solo hablen, speak freely, right? Uh, so give me a second. Okay, give me just a moment. Uh, so Abigail, que se por aquí. Héctor, que se acá, porfa. Mr. Sánchez, eh, Mr. Narváez, quédense acá. Damaris en Ezequiel, quédense aquí, please, guys. Los demás les va a aparecer. Well, si les va a aparecer la invitación, guys, but stay here. Uh, vamos al grupo, tenemos 10 minutitos to share ideas y luego regresamos, you know, a compartir qué escucharon, qué compartieron and everything. So, 10 minutes, guys. Go, 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 go and share ideas. Uh, so, para el grupo que se queda aquí, eh, voy a apagar mi micrófono para que ustedes puedan participar freely, but I'm, but I'm here. Si necesitan ayuda, I'm right here. So, vamos, guys. So, Andrea, let's go. Dinora, let's join the group. Noel, let's join the group. Stephanie, let's join the group too. Blanca, if you can join the group, that would be nice. I see Michelle and Salvador as well. Okay, guys. So the microphone is yours, the room is yours, so you can start telling us all the information you want to share on these questions. Go ahead, please. Question and, and cada quien expresa. Sí, mm, podemos este. Bueno, empiezo preguntando y alguien contesta y así. Okay. Have you ever appreciated a student? In my case, um, yes, I have. I remember um, I, I went to the, the beach and I see the, I was seeing the sunset. Que fue esta del sol, ¿verdad? Sí, okay. yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok. Eh, say, I, say me. When okay. I... When I... I was a, a beach with my friend. We uh -huh. take a... How do you say quedar? Mm. Uh, you can just stay. Uh -huh. uh, we... We have... We had to uh, stay in the beach, and we mm, can see the sunset. Appreciate the sunset. The last year. Only that. There are there are uh, uh, any people in my case. Um, 
the last summer in April, I I participated in the in the run in a beach and and then the uh, finally the the competition uh, I appreciate uh, the sunset and the uh, Costa del Sol. Okay. Are there anyone? Are there anyone appreciate a sunset? Yes, Mister. I I appreciate the, the sunset and the and the playa las flores. It was uh, the most recently. Uh, it was like a uh, one year ago. And that's all. Someone? So <coughs> Someone else? I think okay. past the question. Yes. Okay. And you ask the question. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been a guest of a surprise party? In my case, no, I haven't. And yes, I have. Okay. I, I guess a surprise party. My my brothers invited me to the party in the night. They invited me to the the dream because I I I have a breed that okay. is my the <clears throat> there there was my breed that. Okay. Well, in my own opinion, I never have had a surprise like that. But I would like. Okay. Someone else? Alguien más, alguien más, o pasamos a la otra pregunta. Ezequiel, puedes ayudarnos con la otra pregunta. Poor Mister, have you ever been in a in a fight? Yeah. 
Yes, I have in a fight. The, how do you say hace, hace un mes? Months ago. Uh, yes, months ago. Months ago, months ago, I fight with a With a, with a people. Only that. Why? <laughs> Because he, he doesn't, he doesn't, soportó a, a Jack uh -huh. es Hidas Hidas en how do you say soportó oh. mm. mm. Who who had wit? Wit. Yes. Who had wit? Según el traductor. Yes. Who had wit? I just. But but he he pe, me he me pegó in the back mm. first. And I, I don't. No me, I don't, I don't live. No me dejé. Ah. <laughs> okay. In my case, no. I, I haven't. <clears throat> Someone okay. else. Someone else? A few years ago, I have um, many fights. When I was in the school, and then uh, when I was in the high school too. Yeah, the last one, um, I remember that was when I had 17 years. Yeah, is uh, was the last one when I participated in a fight. Oh no, I remember that. In the 2015, okay. oh. and seven years ago, uh, a policeman. Uh, fight uh, with my friend and and he um, and put your weapon in your um, I don't know what 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 do you say uh, pecho and your arms chest chest yeah and i i can see and i i went and and fight with um, two or three policemen yeah and <laughs> and who and they go and they went to the police station oh wow oh my god <laughs> the situation is serious so, yeah so bad i yeah. i stayed stayed in this place for two days Oh, 
Well, well, well. Someone, someone else. Alguien más que le guste pelear. A yo. <risa> yo. Eh, okay, explain. Uh, last fight I have had uh, was, but when uh, when I was like uh, I don't know, like uh, maybe twelve years ago. It was the last the last fight I, I have. Wow. Okay, pass to other question. Yes. Okay. Who read that question? Okay. Have you ever been on TV? No, I haven't. Oh, I haven't. Yes, I have. Oh, wow. You are famous. Excuse Yes, you some are people, famous. Some, no, no, no. <laughs> some people invite me uh, to play the guitar uh, oh. twice. Yes. Because I was like a teacher in a, we call it, uh, uh, let me see. You play in uh, a group? Sorry? Play in a group. Yeah, actually, group? yes, yeah, currently, yes. Okay. But it was like, uh, let me see. It was in the beginning uh, of this year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, hi, hi. The next question is, have you ever been to a theater? Yes, I have. I remember mm, 10 years ago with my classmate, uh, went, went to the president, president, president tier. Teatro President. Uh -huh. mm, yes, I remember with my classmates. Mm. Well. No, I haven't because I don't like the teacher. Uh, I give me a lip. Se durmieron. Me da sueño, me da sueño. Ah, ah. <laughs> ok. Es ver la cine. No. Oh. Well, in my opinion, sorry, in my opinion, eh, I never had the opportunity to be in a theater, but I. Uh, I will, I will like, uh, when I was in, uh, in the school, mm -hmm. I, my classmate uh, participated in, in a, I don't know, in a theater, no sé cómo dice obra de teatro, teacher, si alguien me ayuda, por favor, and 
and they they won the second place uh, a nivel nacional. Okay. Ya rato fue. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever broken a bone? Yes, I have. And two times. When I was um, in a school, um, I don't remember that. Um, more or less, I had eight or nine years old. And uh, we was uh, playing football and and um i don't i, I don't know what i say eh, el, la portería mm. la cosa es que eso me cayó en el pie bueno <laughs> yeah and the second time when I was uh, in the high school, I had 17 years old and I, I had a fight and in this, in this moment and I, Tropece. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't want. I don't know what say. I say. Tropezar, but, but I. Um, uh, Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes. 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 Teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was having problems with my microphone. Sorry, that is a stumble. So tropezar is a stumble. Stumble. A stumble. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna write it there. So it's and I stumbled and mm -hmm. I broke my 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 oh. leg. Yeah. And the last one in the university, uh, I played football and I broke in a um, two two bones for my feet. Mm. Yeah. I haven't and I good I good I would not like to broken a bone because it will be doloroso. What do you say? Painful. Painful. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't like to broken a bone because it will be painful. So I you have never you have never broken any bone? Yes, I haven't never. Oh, okay. No, and hopefully you don't break any. <laughs> I don't think it's a good experience. Um, so, okay, I think everybody's back. Guys, well, we like stopping the equation with this group. I don't know if the rest uh, moved forward a little bit, but let's start with the equation and let's go backwards. Uh, so guys, who has broken a bone? Quien se, quien se ha tenido la mala suerte? Who has broken bones? So I heard that Jorge broke a leg and I don't remember, what was the other thing? Uy, se me está quebrando el audio, creo. Guys, give me a second. Eh, guys, me estoy quebrando, am I breaking? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Qué raro, escucho, es que los escucho, den a ustedes un poco quebrados. Okay, uh, so... I just think I heard Jorge mention. Escuché que se había quebrado una pierna. I heard that he yeah. broke a leg. ¿Y qué era lo otro? I'm sorry. And two uh, feet. Okay, so. Uh, uh, yeah. Two. Yeah. And oh. when I played football. When I was playing. Wow. Okay. Ni siquiera solo uno. It was two. No, because. Um, the other guy um, golpeó 
how do you say? hit you yeah hit. Uh, yeah uh, in my um pulgar my thumb thumb, thumb. Mm -hmm. yeah my thumb put uh, down for my feet mm, more or less here and broken this and this Ah, wait, wait, wait. Pero For entonces, entonces se quebró como el dedo gordo del pie. Dos, ajá, estos dos. Oh, entonces son your toes. Es que yeah. de la mano se, se le llama thumb, pero en, en el pie son los toes. Oh, okay. You broke two toes. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, y como caminaba, so there was no way yeah. for you to oh, walk. No, no. When, when uh, this guy, uh, Tom, uh put two thumbs down for my feet here mm, so, so. me quedaron los dedos así estos dos abajo Jorge ¿Ah? Jorge oh. who wins voy <laughs> <laughs> fighting so estaban peleando were you fighting no no jugando fútbol playing football. Ah. pero y ahora puede jugar can you continue playing soccer yes, yes. They don't hurt, or is that yeah. very young? Were you like no. very young? When I when I was in the university, um, more or less twelve years ago. Twelve years ago. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, because when you're so pequeño, como que duele menos. But imagine, uh -huh. yeah, había quien le ayudara, quien lo moviera, and everything. That, that sounds terrible. Okay, guys, but really nice. So, uh, well, just I'm not gonna give you like a lot of homework or like a hard time. Solo, guys, eh, les pido para Monday practicar los pasados participios. Ambos, de hecho, pasado, pasado participio de estos verbos para que podamos practicarlos un poquito más cómodo, right? So we can practice them a little bit more comfortably. Um, guys, solamente let me go over attendance antes de dejar decir que ya se nos acabó el tiempo. That's so bad. Um, y regálenme confirmación que estamos por acá. So, Miss Mendoza, I heard her. I Thank have you. Andrea. Gracias. Okay. Blanca también está por acá. Georgina, too. Gracias, Hector. Thank you, Miss. Mr. Sanchez. Creo que por ahí bien. Mr. Narváez, ¿nos regala confirmación? Ezequiel. Yes. Oh, Juanjo, creo que no, right? Give me one second. Solo déjeme revisar si está Juanjo. Mm, sí, no. está. Juanjo. Juanjo, yeah. Ahí está. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Got it. Thank you. Yes, he's here. Okay. Uh, Julio Cesar. Yes, Julio, yes, por ahí estaba. Thank you so much. Kenya. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Uh, Kev, well, Mr. Paolo está por ahí. Uh, lady. Gracias, Miss. Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you. Noé. Salvador. Uh, Miss Bonilla, Michelle, present. Thank you, Dinora, present teacher. Gracias, and Amaris. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So amazing, super, super good job. Solo please revisen los verbos. No se les olvide, guys, también avanzar con la plataforma. Gracias a quienes ya la tienen al 100%. Thank you so much for quienes. Estaba revisando que ya completaron, eh, bueno, de hecho ya tienen nota final, son Miss Mendoza, ya la tiene al 100%, good job, Kenia también, eh, Mauricio también, very nice job, a Lady la tiene súper bien, ya tiene un passing score, Dinora también, y Damaris también, Damari le quedó a 99, <ríe> casi 100, nice job. Uh, so guys, los demás... Eh, Creo que a algunos nos falta la 4, right? Que la 4 da una gran ponderación. 
para que eh, you know, no, no se les vaya acumulando, right? Intenten terminarla antes. Gracias, guys. guys. Terminamos de este lunes al próximo. Así que, please, la última semanita. Don't miss it. And espero que tengan un buen fin de semana. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy it. And I'll be seeing you Monday, people. See you on Monday. Que See you on Monday, guys. teacher. Sleep well. See you on Monday. God bless you. Good night. Thank you. Likewise. Good night, Bye -bye. teacher. See you on Monday. See you on Monday as well.